my gosh, okay, this dimple can move when I flare my nostrils and I have a brother and a sister and I've never had a dog and my favorite color is pink and my shoe size is six and a half. Wow. I don't know if you can see it from here, but it's like, that's three. <laughs> I got him to talk. <laughs> I really have never worn a beard. I can curl my tongue. I love to play football. I can't anymore because of knee surgeries. I've had four knee surgeries. I have four daughters. I'm not so good with math. One. How many are you up to now? I like five-ish. I guess I, that was <laughs> I don't know. On this season, <laughs> the way the stories are found. Yeah, I've watched some of the old seasons and it is. Really? Yeah. Wow. Well, yes. It's <laughs> unusual. <laughs> It's different in that we have a specific theme, phenomenon, instead of just being location-oriented, now we're kind of theme-oriented, and that's how we find the stories. <laughs> so I show up at the director's house. I didn't know what the show was yet, actually, at all. And I got there, and he was there. We had to tell a story. It was a screen test. So he would tell a story, and then I would do sound effects to keep the story going. Then, I don't know, we met and we just did the story, and it would tell stories good, I guess. Yeah, we as good storytellers, and we have well grammar. Honestly, this has been the most incredible, not just career experience, like interacting with people experience I've ever had, bar none. It's just been amazing getting to talk to so many people and find out about their lives. And I, I don't know, I love talking to people. So this was, this is kind of a dream for me to get to do it as a job. She's been great, and because of the new format of the show, it's been really easy to integrate her, and she brings a dynamic to the show that uh, I think is, is wow. needed. It's all I know, and I've been really lucky to have Todd as a co-host, honestly. Just hats off. More money out of my pocket yep, for yep. her saying nice things. <laughs> he can now say the names of different Quidditch equipment, but at the beginning of this season, he could not pronounce for the life of him Quaffle. She's highly entertaining. She can beatbox. You want to throw some of that out right now? That's it. <laughs> that's it? No, that's not it. Always for me, it's meeting incredible people and having them share their stories and then doing stupid stuff. I would have never played Quidditch in my life, I guarantee you. And it was very difficult, very painful, very taxing. Can you still feel that PVC pipe? Yes. Bruising your legs. Oh, man. Thanks for letting me <laughs> come into this, I guess. Um, people really care a lot about what he's done and it's made an, an impact and I'm just really grateful to be able to be a part of it this time around, so thank you. Bella and I will try to get to as many stories as we can, but you need to be able to somehow record your story and the stories of those you love because the power of story, as we're trying to prove with the show, is so important. You need to somehow capture your own story.